The Science in Practice Award is given to recognize the legacy of Al Lehman. Lehman's greatest skill was his ability to inspire those around him to solve problems, act on ideas, and strive to better themselves. He was a visionary leader to swine faculty, graduate students, veterinarians, and pork producers. This award acknowledges veterinarians who embrace all of his qualities. The University of Minnesota and SOETIS are proud to announce that Dr. Clayton Johnson is the recipient of the 2020 Al Lehman Science in Practice Award. Clayton's reputation is built on a foundation of bioeconomic models for PERS and PED management strategies. He is an outstanding ambassador because he puts science into the practice of veterinary medicine. Clayton loves to get to the root of problems by stripping away confounding information. He is one of few people who can walk the line between the control environments of laboratory settings and the practical environment of commercial production. In presenting him with this award, we salute Clayton's record of innovation and his pursuit on solutions that improve swan health around the world. We are very proud of Dr. Clayton Johnson here at Carthage Veterinary Service. One of Dr. Johnson's strengths is he's a teacher. He loves to learn. <clears throat> he becomes very well prepared in both a foundation of science and then in helping to explain that so that our production teams, our production managers can understand why we have established those things. Dr. Johnson's not afraid to ask the tough questions. He's not afraid to change his mind if there's something new. Um, and he's also rooted in a strong foundation of both science and research. Clayton has traveled the globe and uh, bring the message of swine health and production uh, around the world and uh, he's welcomed those students. He's also put on webinars in the middle of the night because at some other location on the opposite side of the globe, uh, there was a desire to learn and understand. So we're thrilled to have Dr. Johnson be recognized for his commitment to science, for his commitment to teaching, and uh, we love having him here as a partner in Carthage Veterinary Service. Uh, you've been an incredible big brother and uh, someone I've been able to view as a mentor and help me develop. And I think that's your, your uh, biggest strong suit would be developing teams around you and people around you. And someone like you who is willing to dedicate time to that and help other people grow and become better and advance in their careers and personal life is a major reason why so many people in the industry look up to you today. For me, the reason I'm a veterinarian is plain and simple. It's, it's my dad. My dad was a classic small town mixed animal veterinarian. And what I mean by that is not just that he saw every species day and night. Um, I mean that he was really more than just a veterinarian for the community. My dad was very active in the community in many different respects. Clayton, we're very proud of you on getting this award. Um, you have uh, always worked very hard at anything you were passionate about. You always had a passion for swine. Uh, and you had some experience as you were young, which I think helped you along the way. Uh, and anyway, we're very proud of you and you earned it. Uh, I honestly wasn't a pre-vet student when I went to college. I fully intended to become uh, a human doctor. And I found the, the closer I got to shadowing doctors and, and the client-patient relationship that MDs get to have with their clients, I found that it wasn't the same as what I got to experience by watching my dad and his interactions with his clients and patients growing up. And that's what really steered me back into veterinary medicine because I really enjoy seeing that, uh, that positive interaction that you get to have with a, with a producer who's got a health challenge. You come on to the farm as a veterinarian, you help diagnose the root cause of that health challenge. You provide some short-term therapy to help the pigs that are sick get over whatever they're dealing with. And then you also address the root cause so that we don't have to go through that same situation again. I did always anticipate that I would end up specializing in pigs as a veterinarian. It was difficult to do when I graduated from uh, veterinary school. It was unusual that you would go straight into specializing in one species. 
But I was very fortunate that I had some wonderful mentors, not only my dad, but many different veterinarians who took me under their wing when I was still a student and helped to craft my thought processes, helped to teach me the, the technical skills that I needed to be a successful pig veterinarian right out of school. I like to problem solve and the, if there's an effortless part of my day, it's when a producer or a fellow veterinarian calls me and says, hey Clayton, I got a problem and I need your help wrestling it to the ground and trying to come up with an intervention plan. I really love the opportunity to work with that producer, work with their collective teams, gather information, gather evidence, help distill that down into an action plan and really bring that that farm team, that production system along in that journey so that they can develop a bit of a sense of hope in that battle against disease. But I am flattered and honored to be named the 2020 Layman in Science Practice Award winner. To me, it's a reflection of the wonderful people that I've been fortunate enough to be surrounded by throughout my, my life and in particular throughout my career as a pink veterinarian. I want to thank the University of Minnesota and I want to thank Zoetis for honoring those in the field who are trying to apply the most up-to-date and the best science available to them. He's always, you can tell that he likes and enjoys what he does and that helps us to, to kind of keep moving forward too because you, you see that Clayton is excited, you get excited. He's just a fun person to be around. Really, it's something that a lot of people, at least I, I do, Look what 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 are what's Clayton doing? How would Clayton do uh, or approach this or that? So uh, he's uh, inspiration for for a lot of folks in the industry, including myself and a lot of other people that we interact with. Winning the Layman Science and Practice Award is never an individual accomplishment. It's always going to be recognition of a team and the collective work of multiple individuals. And as such, it's appropriate for me to highlight members of my team that may be who I am and really are, are here today receiving this award right along with me. I want to thank the team that I get to work with at Carthage every day. It's really a wonderful team that challenges me on a regular basis, forces me to think outside the box, and also gives me a tremendous system with which to practice veterinary medicine in the Carthage system. Now, last but not least, I need to thank my family. I want to start by thanking my wonderful parents, my dad, Bill, my mom, Jane. Thank you very much for not only putting up with me as a young man, but also really supporting me and encouraging me and, and reminding me that I was in control of my own destiny. And if I wanted to do something, I had the ability to do it. I want to thank my brother and my sister, Henry and Tori, who obviously had a huge impact on me. I absolutely need to thank my wife, Allie. She supports me not only personally, but also professionally. And that's not easy to do. I know all of you as pig veterinarians out there understand the challenge that your career can have on family. Uh, I want to thank my, my wonderful children, Nina, who's nine, and Jake, who's five. Um, they're an unbelievable source of happiness and inspiration for me. In summary, thank you to all of you. Thank you to everyone that I get to come in contact with on a daily basis. There are so many of you that I know I haven't mentioned. Um, you're all very important to me and you've all contributed greatly to shaping who I am, not only as a professional, but as an individual. Thank you.